Berberine is a poor man's uh, version of metformin and has been shown in clinical studies that a gram and even better two grams a day can lower blood sugar. It seems to work by a very similar mechanism, inhibiting complex one of the respiratory chain in mitochondria and even shows signs of lowering cholesterol. So I, I've switched now predominantly to berberine instead of metformin. But if you if you can take metformin and you don't feel acid reflux or sick because of it, I still think metformin is a really good option. Just you need to talk to your doctor about it because it's a prescription medicine. How are you feeling about rapamycin these days? I'm currently taking rapamycin. I take it once a week and I take a, a low dose. I won't say exactly what dose because it'll be all over the internet, but it's a low dose of rapamycin and I'm feeling good on that. The only time I don't take rapamycin these days is if I injure myself. I do a lot of yard work, gardening, and if I cut my myself or whatever happens, I don't take rapamycin because I want to heal quickly. But other than that, I'm I'm still in favor of rapamycin. The low dose doesn't seem to have any serious side effects. The worst side effect I've seen and experienced is a canker sore. And anyone who cries over a canker sore is a baby, but I generally only get one of those every six months.